Uh, what's up, Jim and Brian? I was watching Starcade 88 and the match between Stan and Bobby and the original Midnight Express duo of Condry and Randy Rose managed by Paul E. It is such a fun match, and damn, was Bobby good. But my question is, what is Randy Rose's story? Was he really an original member of the Express? I'm not old enough to remember the buildup for this match, but I'd like to know a short version of the Randy Rose story. Thanks, guys, and keep up the great work. Oh, I've got a short version of uh, what well, Randy. <sighs> God, I wish I could just direct people to buy the Midnight Express book if we still had copies, if it wasn't out of print and such a rare collectible. Um, Dennis Condry was part of a tag team before Bobby Eaton and I in, in, in Mid-South Wrestling as part of the Midnight Express with Randy Rose and Norvell Austin. Norvell obviously was a guy from Memphis who'd wrestled all over the South for years and years. And they were a three-man team like the Freebirds and used the name Midnight Express in Continental Wrestling in Alabama in, in what, starting in 81, right? Or maybe late 80? Yeah, around sounds about right. 81, then came to Memphis, and they were the three-man team, Dennis Condry, Randy Rose, Norvell Austin, uh, in Memphis once, and then they came back again where it was just Dennis and Norvell. But at any rate, <clears throat> Randy's from Georgia and started wrestling probably in, what, 73-ish, 4-ish. Uh, he worked as Randy Alls, and then as Randy Rose, and he especially worked uh, Georgia and Alabama and those uh, territories, and Got over pretty well. He was a pretty good heel. And so he was part of the original Midnight Express. But then Randy was working in a different part of the country. It was Dennis and Norvell that were a tag team and not even really calling himself the Midnight Express anymore in Memphis in 83 when Bill Watts came and the talent trade and Watts asked, wanted to pair Dennis with Bobby Eaton and me manage him. And, Den and Watts asked Dennis if he had a good name for a tag team and Dennis said Midnight Express. So yes, Randy was one of the original Midnight Express, but they had never worked with the Dennis Condry, Bobby Eaton, and then Bobby Eaton, Stan Lane version of the Midnight Express until that deal. And, uh, and uh, basically that was, uh, that was our, our snake bit angle that got caught in the middle of three or four booking changes in the course of about eight weeks. When people think of the Midnight Express, they think of you managing Bobby and Dennis or Bobby and Stan, or maybe they think of the early version with Randy Rose and Norvell Austin with Dennis. Jim, can you name any of the other members of the Midnight Express in between in 1983 in Alabama? Oh, God, I know it. they did something in 1983 where they got a, a, a couple of new members, did they not? They did. They and did. I, I, I can't remember who the fuck they were. <laughs> Rotten Ron Starr. Okay. Wayne Ferris. That's right. Uh, Rick Harris, who would later be Black Bart. Black Bart. And the Midnight Stallion. And I don't know who that is. I have no <laughs> idea either. <laughs> that sounds like some Robert Fuller booking is what that sounds like to me. Let's <laughs> put 12 guys in the Midnight Express Incorporated, and we'll have a masked guy named the Midnight Stallion. <laughs> 